my loves and welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Anushka I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day <laughs> before I jump onto the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out for today and today's one goes to Meisha Jan Janat I hope I said that right thank you so much for the comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press that bell button and then comment in the comments below when you have done so so today I'm going to be um, reviewing the glow fix glow collection by nip and fab glow fix glow yes they have this whole new collection of um, contour highlight blush sticks with setting sprays and matte and dewy one and also some eyeshadow palettes and highlight palette but I'm going to be focusing more on the sticks and the setting sprays today I really wanted to try them on camera for the first time I did go to the event which was super fun by the way and I got to meet Rosie and Hayley from the from Love Island I was just like what what's going on here I'm in the same room as these people but anyways it was really fun it was really cool I got to meet like some really cool bloggers just some really lovely bloggers that I follow on Instagram and you know they're just really lovely people so I had a ton of fun and so yeah I have everything here I modeled them up a little bit and I've got both setting sprays I'm gonna try half up and see if there is a difference so you have one mattifying fixing mist and then you've got the dewy one illuminating fixing mist they also then have one two three highlight sticks like highlight glow um, and then they've got one two three three blush sticks and then three definition sticks I feel like they could have done with one deep definition stick because I looked at them and I don't think I can use one of them because they're too light but we'll see and they do retail for $10.95 each for the sticks and then the setting sprays are $9.95 these are what the sticks look like so you've got cool taupe medium sculpt in the middle and then golden tan right here this is like for fairer skins i feel like i could get away with this one but we're gonna try it anyways here are just some swatches this is called taupe uh medium sculpt and golden tan i don't know i feel like they could have done a bit better with these shades i know they're like um contour kind of stick so you don't really need a lot but i feel like they could have done with at least one dark shade like a dark dark one you know or even maybe two but yeah, so we're going to go ahead with golden tan. No, that's not working. It's literally lighter than my foundation. Okay, well that's a shame. You know, you can you probably could only get use out of this if you are NT40 or below. Even NT40 is pushing it because I'm like NT43, but yeah. But yeah, it's not even it's like going really grey and ashy on my skin alright so here are the blush sticks you've got electric apricot then you have watermelon and then we have pink wink there is some residue here but I think that's because it was really hot on that day in the room as well so yeah but I think I'm gonna go for the peachy one today I think I'm actually gonna go in with the sponge so I'm gonna Okay, so they're quite subtle. Let's just go with the stick. There's, they're not as creamy as the um, the contour sticks. Maybe I just have to warm them up a bit. So these are the swatches, and I felt like pink wink would have been much darker, but it's not. But yeah, I've warmed up the apricot, and I'm gonna try and put some more. not blending okay for with a brush I think it seems to go on a bit better this time I'm gonna use a brush I mean that's a little bit better it has a slight glow to it I'm gonna see what watermelon looks like I feel like for my skin tone, watermelon is the one that's like showing up a little on me, a bit better. It definitely works better with a brush for sure. Um, it doesn't really work well with a sponge. The pigmentation is okay, but I just feel like, again, it's not 
for my skin tone. I do feel like a lot of these products are for lighter complexions um, compared to me, but the one that worked the best for on me is watermelon and I'm not mad at it, it looks really pretty, very subtle and you know, just a flush of colour on my cheeks. So now onto the highlighters, hopefully I like one of these. There was one where I was like, wow that looks stunning. Okay, so these are the beautiful glow sticks. So you have Galaxy, Solar and Aura. I'm probably not going to touch Aura because I'm, I don't think I would use that personally. Um, so I'm going to keep that for a giveaway. So I'm really liking the swatches so far. You have Galaxy here and Solar there. I'm going to go for Solar, which is the more goldy one. Galaxy is more of like a rose gold. Again, for me, they seem to be working better with a, a brush. That, that's stunning. I love like the wet look it kind of gives. I'm all about that, you guys know. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to give some of my thoughts. All right, so I'm back. I'm just gonna touch up my blush because I feel like it's disappeared with all that powder. I'm just gonna and some on my cheeks I'm actually not bad at that watermelon colour it's actually really pretty and definitely a thumbs up for the watermelon one I really 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 like it okay so we're just going to quickly jump on to trying the setting sprays like we've got matte here and the illuminating one here the illuminating one looks bigger one of the same size um, but in the illuminating one that you can see some kind of like specks in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do matte on this side and I'm going to do illuminating on this side. The spray of this one compared to the original one, one, original one I had is much better. Like it doesn't like drench my face. But yeah, I'm just going to let that dry and um, whilst while that's drying, we're going to do the illuminating one on this side. So this is like the kind of before. Alright, so now for my final thoughts. Um, I, re I really do like the highlight stick. It's really beautiful and it makes your skin look nice and wet and glowy. I feel like when I have not a lot of makeup on, this is just going to look stunning. Um, and yeah, solar. Is it Solar? Yeah, Solar is definitely the one I really, really like. I do really love the watermelon blush. Like, this would have been the last one I would have gone for, but it's so nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a light flush of pink on my cheeks, and I really like it, because I'm not a big fan of blush, to be honest, but this looks really stunning. Um, and then, obviously, it's a thumbs down for me on the definition sticks. They don't have a colour for me, really, and for people of darker than me so i really feel like if they can maybe improve it but i guess it is a collection i don't know if they will ever improve it but yeah it would be really good if they could because i would have loved to try it as a contour or bronzer and to be honest for the setting spray so far i'm really really liking it um i will keep it on for the rest of the day and then update the info box on how it kind of worked and settled and everything and if the matte side did keep my face matte to be honest i love how they both spray the illuminating one I thought I wasn't going to like that much because I don't really like something that's going to make me look a bit oily um, or too illuminated, you know? I mean, there's no such thing as too much highlight, but sometimes, you know, you go overboard and you just look oily. <laughs> Especially with things like illuminators and setting illuminating setting sprays, but to be honest, it hasn't made me look like really oily. Like, it's just intensified that highlight because you can see it's much brighter than this side where I put the matte setting spray. Um, this side is definitely looking matte, but even here it looks matte, you know, so yeah, I'm just going to wear it today, but so, so far I'm liking both, you know, depending on my mood, I'll just change between the two, but these are really good setting sprays, I love, love, love the original one, so definitely going to be using these a lot. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of like try on for the first time review video. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below subscribe don't forget to do that give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and i will see you guys in my next one